Of Africa, who is also the head of the um, the head of the World Civil D Movement, that is a gold medal I received from the Universal Peace Federation for the work of peace and harmony around the world. Right. Um, this is my honorary uh, doctorate in peace and religious studies. That's honorary doctorate. Right. This is my master's degree in ambassadorial diplomacy. Okay. Um, Where's my bachelor's? Oh no, the bachelor's couldn't, we couldn't get a, a frame to put it on, which I did at the Atlantic International University. And this here is a certificate of completion of doing Reiki healing to help people when they're sick and so on to try and heal, and heal them. Yes. Uh, this is another one, the same thing healing through thoughts and universal energies. Yes, I was, well, it's finished now, but for a number of years I was the, the um, Commission of Parliament mm -hmm. for Peace and races, ethnicities, mm -hmm. right? And this is a, another special certificate from the Universal Peace Federation. Mm -hmm. So I always try to do things to, for basically my mom to feel proud. Yeah. And by the grace of God, doing things to make your mom or your parents happy, yeah. always bring good into a person. My mother is very special to me, and she can't see me in character, particularly because of the knock lockdown. I was there in January, but I can't go as often. And so she likes to hear when I sing or when I talk. And with that in mind, I'm doing these songs so somebody can tune her in into YouTube and they could see me with the family there, particularly my mother had you. That is a cup in Scarborough. Ontario. So I'm no professional. I have no professional training. I have no training whatsoever. I'm just a simple, ordinary guy who learned by himself. Okay, your yes, very dearest, beloved, divine friends, family, brothers and sisters. In Guyana, around the world, the Universal Peace Federation, the World Civility Movement, uh, the Electric of Kings of Islam, the Guyana Islamic Forum, and so many organizations and institutions which I belong. I say peace, blessings, mercies of the Universal Prayer to be with one and all. Today, for me, starts as a special day. It's the first time in 42 years of business which I started with $7.50. And by the grace of God, the blessings of my mother, whom you see here, you need to zoom in on her a little bit, operator. This is the Queen of Her Majesty. Her, her blessings, and her sacrifices, her prayers uh, to educate and ensure that I develop well and also with the blessings of our Creator, Lord of the Worlds. And maybe a little bit of intelligence, a little bit of tact from me, everything from my Lord God and my mother and the universal powers and energy. My mother is Hajin Latifun Khan. Um, you all have heard her name many times. Many of you have received the books, the book of poetry, a different edition that I wrote on her behalf. This book, which was recently launched um, and that has been dedicated to her because of her wisdom and uh, her sacrifices, I am what I am. 
and uh, it will tell you here, and it tells you that the book is dedicated to her. From the depth of my heart and soul, I, Haji Roshan Khan, respectfully dedicate this book to my beloved mother, Mrs. Latifun Khan, my pride and my joy. And the guiding light in my life from my earliest years until now, may the richest blessings and mercies of Almighty God be upon her always. Right? There's also one of the poetry that I wrote for you that is inside of here. When you said a lot of blows and things, a part of you that is inside this book as well. Uh, the poetry that I quoted. And so today I feel very joyful, my beloved divine friends and families around the world. And I know my fans and so on, locally and internationally, you'll be happy to see this. My mother is 90 years of age now, and uh, still alive. Mom, give her one of your beautiful smile. Huh? You look at that. You see? Where can you, where can you get a smile like that, friends and families? And I know many of you will feel a little bit beautiful jealous. There are two kinds of jealousies, right? There's a beautiful jealousy. Ah, I wish I had my mother. I wish I had done the things I could have done. And so, for those of you who have uh, your mothers and even your parents um, and your fathers, to love them and honor them and respect them. And I will tell you quickly a story. Because you know, every time I talk, I only try to speak something of wisdom or, and of sense. But one day, a man went to the Holy Prophet of Islam, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may the peace and mercies and blessings of God be upon him. And ask him, um, my mother's passed away. I don't know what to do. I, 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 I'm sad. I'm pain. Uh, and I didn't do much for her. So the Prophet said, well, go and ask forgiveness and meditate and, and send blessings unto your mother. Uh, true subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of the worlds. And he actually went uh, four times. The same answer. On the fifth time, on going to the beloved Prophet, he said the same thing, how he's lamenting. And the Prophet of Islam told him, Muhammad and Kumbi, peace and blessings, that you will go and you will build a well that will serve the people of the community with fresh water and that every time someone drinks that water or uses it for goodness or for health or whatever, your mother will go higher and higher into paradise. This process is called surgical jarial. They sacrifice that uh, produces and earns blessings even after you die. You die. So being inspired by that, I constructed the Latifan Civic Center, which you will see is still in construction form coming to an end, which will be edited in this video. Uh, you will see it here now. Beautiful structure. That structure is named after my mother, this beautiful structure, the Latifan Civic Center for Goodwill and Human Development. So I have already building such an edifice for her, like the well, which people of all religions, and which peoples of all races, children, adults, for anything decent, for education, it's not a masjid. You have many masjids around. Sometimes too much. So I built this that will serve the community, graduation for kindergarten, nursery, yoga, part of positive thinking which I will give character development and human thoughts which my son Dr. Raj or Rosha AC Lal will give and try to train people and youths and children. They can use it for high school graduation and anything decent and elegant, wedding marriages, Islamic type re reception where there's no alcohol and so on. All in her name, in the cause of serving the community and the country and for major uh, observances of Islam and other faiths, Hinduism, Christianity, the Baha'is, every religion, you know, we live and are your true, true, your truly believe in the one human family under God. So my mother is here. I feel very happy. My sister, Nazima Khan, see, my beautiful sister, look at her. Just look at her. Isn't she uh, awesome? Look at her. Just look at her face. Look at her smile. Give me a kiss, girl. And my mother, she'll want to kiss me too. And I will want to kiss her. And my nephew, 
shame, handsome, brilliant, outstanding. My brother is the hard Khan Junior. So joyful for me, I brought them over as they're here in the country to witness the launch of that civic center. However, we can't do it nationally as we had hoped, but we smartly will send it up. And later on, we'll do another. Hopefully, she comes next year. I wanted to do a national opening. The president wanted to come. He ended up being in Dubai. The building was not finishing. So, inshallah, if God wills or allows, we shall do another one. But very soon, we'll go and open up, and you will see the actual completion of this building, which is about for the service of humanity. Joyful moment. My mother, um, Haji Latif and Khan, went through all kinds of pain, difficulties, travails, and suffering that only I can go to see that I have an education. She had promised me, my son, she had promised me, I had promised her, as you're leaving to go to get an education, promise me. Nobody knew about it, unless they probably read the story. Promise me you will never smoke a cigarette. And I promise you. Promise me that you will never have bad company because bad companies spoil useful habits. Promise me you will never consume alcohol and everything I promise. And I promise you I have everything. Never touch a cigarette in my mouth, never drank alcohol, always live in beauty and joy and the few friends I have are people of total absolute elegance and joy. And wisdom and education, deport. What else to say about her? I, I'm coming, it's coming to my head, you know, every universe always sent them is coming to my head. And another man went to the, to the Holy Prophet and was lamenting and crying, how can I reach paradise? Um, he told her, him, when he went with his wife and his children, the, the, he told them, go to your mother and worship her. He went again and he asked the same question and the prophet said, go to your mother and worship her. He went to her, same to him four times. And then on the fourth, going to the, to the fifth time, the prophet said, you shall go and honor your mother and thy father. Showing the position of motherhood in civilization and humanity. We must remember that if the women die, or the female gamete of every living creature, we you know that the trees have female gametes and male gamete, but if the male lives and the female dies, or the animal kind, the civilization, mankind, humanity, everything will come into decay. This is the power of motherhood. This is the power of womanhood. So treat your women with dignity and honor. Do not beat your mother. Do not beat your wife. I've seen men beat their mothers, slap them, beat them for their wives. I have seen men disagree with their mother, humiliate and embarrass and even abandon them for their wives, mostly, and you should. I've seen men beat their wives most inhumanly, as if purist of any kind of feelings of humanity, as if they were made out of, out of rock or brick. I've seen a man take a blue enamel pot and beat his wife in her face just because he didn't come home for a couple of nights and she ducked him and he got passionate. He took that enamel pot, small blue enamel, beat his wife in her face till her face become a pop. Left and went away, but the woman, the mother, the wife, still got up and made the meals for her children. This is calm. I beloved love mom. I know everything. Only her. So I honor her, I bless her, I have not disappointed her, and I worship her. So as an example to you all, I will go to her and I will bow to her as my goddess on earth. 
for going down and kissing her laps. And she's going to bless my head. And then also I will go down and kiss her toe. In reality, showing an example how to honor your mother and to give her praise and joy and to raise her name into the absolute glory. And so with that in mind, I want to, I just did my Zohar prayers and I will therefore make a dua for my family here all humanity and especially for my mother to have the highest of heaven. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmideen Iyaka Nabudu wa Iyaka Nasta'een Ihidu Nasirot Al-Mustaqeen Sirot Al-Ladheen Aramta Alayhim Gair Al-Maktub Alayhim Waladuri Ameen Bismillahi Rahman Ar-Rahim Allahumma Salli Ala Muhammad Wa Ala Ali Muhammad Kama Salli Ta'ala Ibrahim Wa Ala Ali Ibrahim In the Kaibu Nuhi Allahumma Barik Ala Muhammad Wa Ala Ali Muhammad Come up to Ibrahim, O Ibrahim, in the Kahamid of the O Allah, Creator, Lord of the world, Lord of all humanity, Creator of all of life, Creator of mankind. I pray to you to ask you to forgive my mother if she made any sins and mistakes, Hajj Latif and Khan, who sits with me here, and to bless her as you have, you have given her a bountiful life with good health and joy and happiness and like everyone else with some difficulties for we know without some difficulties that we have to teach the sound in order to appreciate this so bless her on earth bless her when you call into the heavens and many things have been done by yours truly your son Haji Dr. Ocean can to take us to the highest heavens bless her with good health that she may come again and she will never suffer in, with any sickness or any diseases. That's my sister Nazima Khan, who is with me, who takes care of her and also looks out for her, her father. Bless her with a good life, a joy, a happiness, and a continued peace. I pray to you and ask you to bless her, her son, the grand uh, son of my mother, Shane Khan. Give him wonderful prosperity and success and peace and joy in the world, awards and recognition, success in occupation and business, family, good health and everything else. And all my sister's children, and my brother, Isahar Khan, known as Bango, he suffers from some health problems. Help him, bless him, protect him, raise him to glory, and give him success again as you did one time. I pray unto you. I pray to you to bless all of my children, to bless my beloved divine wife, all my children who are in my home and those who might have been out, who are outside of my home. Bless all humanity, all peoples of all religions. Bless the sky and the sea and the earth and the environment and everything that brings forth food. Bless this grass, the perennial grass from which comes forth oxygen that we may breathe. Bless the waters that produce food and oxygen. Bless the sky and the sea and the ozone layer and give us purified waters and bless the wind that takes our messages through the magic that you have created into your heart so you may hear this cry from your son O Lord me Haji Dr. Ocean Khan praying for all mankind all humanity for the sky the sea and the earth and everything that lives Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama salli ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim in the Kabir of Jesus, in the name of my Rahim. Allah, who la ilaha illa huwa al hayo kayum, la ta kuzuho sarata wa la nao, la huma fi samawati wa ma filler, manzaladi yashfo in the huila is many, ya huma baina idi him wa ma kalfo, wa la yo hituna bishain mil ilmihi illa bimasha a, wasiya krosiya yo samawati wa la yo tu hirsahuma. Wahoo, 
practicing only seeing the good practicing what the book tells you how to do it in a form of meditation how to touch the subconscious mind and how to see in the head what you want you know when we sit down we imagine all kind of thing most of the wicked thing you can see in your head more easy quick why when you want to see the good things you take a little practice with energy and then you're teaching you how to see on the screen what you would like to achieve because this mind is so powerful this mind is so extraordinary it is like a time machine. I spoke about that in one of my sermons. That God gave us a time machine. We can go back to our childhood. So as we relax and we think we can go back to our childhood. As far as we can remember. And we can go into the future. As far as we want to go and see what we can be. Whether we can be a failure. Whether we can be a success. But you can go into that. And you can actually travel to failure. Or you can travel to success. Because of the powers of the human mind. So I took his book. I took it a bit more. So I'm working on a book like that right now. I don't get the pictures hopefully before the end of the You know, but you got face real. All right, let me sing the first song that um, this man had taught me. This one right here. I'm going to mention him in the prayer too. Let's always pray for him. And Mama Nijin, you know, all my teachers, English or Arabic. Bismillah, here of my name. Ajahe. Maulud Akram Ah, Salatu wa Salam My mother enjoy me Rehnama Dunia me aai Ah, Salatu wa Salam Today is the day of Prophet Muhammad then And then we are saluting him on the great day of his birth And otherwise we are giving salutation Jabu we peda Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Jabu we peda Muhammad Mu 
مشك کیا ای ہوا بر گئی خوشبو سے دنیا آ سلامت و سلام آ جہے مولود اکرم آ سلامت و سلام نور پہ شانی سے چمکا سارے گھر روشن ہوئے نور پہ شانی ہے چمکا سارے گھر روشن ہوئے جبرائی لاکر پکارا آ سلاتو Wassalam. I'll sing you that piece, and then I'll go a little piece of another one. Swear allegiance to Muhammad, true obedience to him. Establish Islam, true obedience to Muhammad. Paru kalama, Muhammad ka, Muhammad na mule lekar. کرو اسلام کو قائم محمد نام لے لے کر کرو جنت میں گھر اپنا محمد نام لے لے کر ہر درد کی دوائیں سلے اللہ محمد تاوی زہر بلائیں سلے اللہ محمد ہر درد کی دوائیں سلے اللہ محمد زہر بلائے صلی اللہ محمد محبوب کبریائے صلی اللہ محمد کھا نقش خوش نمائے صلی اللہ محمد اب یہ ایک اپنے 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 favorite song, all the Muslims go crazy with the song. I'll sing a piece. The meaning is very great. O sustainer of the worlds, everything is dependent on thee. Besides thee, I have no refuge. Noah's ark was saved from the flood by the power of thy power. Abraham was saved from the fire through thy mercy. The appeal of all thy servants was answered in the same merciful way, O Allah. Thou art the master of the universe. Jonah was saved, was brought out of the fish belly. Aaron received the light of thy guidance. Whatever the circumstances, thy protecting hand was always with thy people. Joseph was free from captivity. Jacob rejoiced at the appearance of his son. In the running waters of the Nile, a path was made for Moses to cross. Jesus was saved from, from the torturous death on the cross. O oh Allah, there is no limit to thy power. Of oh, thy power. By thy powers. Mom, I don't remember this song. Your father didn't like it a lot too. Paru var digare alam Mom, Rafi. Tera hai sahara Paru var digare alam Tera hai سہارا تیرے سوا جہاں میں کوئی نہیں ہمارا پرور دیگار علم تیرا ہی ہے سہارا تیرے سوا جہاں میں کوئی نہیں ہمارا پرور دیگار علم نوکہ سفینتونے 
तूफान से बचाया दुनिया हमें हमेशा बंदों के काम आया मांगी कलील ने जब तुझसे दुआ खुदाया आतिश कटू ने फौरन एक गुल सीता बनाया हर इल्त जान तेरी रहमत को हे उबा परवर दिगारियालम यूसुफ कटू ने मोला दी कैद से रिहाई या कूब को दोबारा शक्ल पिसर दिखाई बहते हुए नदी में मूसा मोजिस केरा बनाई तूने सली से बी ईसा जीसस की जा बचाई दाता तेरे कर्म को कोई नहीं किनारा परवर दिकारियालम तेरा ही है सहारा तेरे सेवा जहां में That was a song you all have loved. All the Muslims are crazy for that song.